We know that this is a very tough holiday season for so many of our neighbors and American families. So Coin6 is working with TV stations from all over the country to help raise money for one million meals. We're calling this the Super Bowl of Caring. Yes, and so the money that's raised will go to a local food bank. Joining us live right now with more about the donation campaign is Executive Director of the Super Bowl of Caring, Allison Reese. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. How are y'all today? We're doing, doing well, well today. Yes. And, you know, can you just give us a little bit of a rundown here? What is the Super Bowl of Caring? Yes. Well, about 30 years ago, there was a church that had a prayer on Super Bowl Sunday. Lord, even as we enjoy the Super Bowl game, let's be mindful of those who don't have a bowl of soup to eat. And from there, um, in the past 30 years, there have been over 300,000 groups and individuals and uh, sports teams who have taken on this mission to unite their community to, uh, to tackle hunger using that energy that we all know and love from this time of the year when we're thinking about um, you know, our playoff football games. Yeah, I mean, I think especially in as we close out 2020, we have seen that there is a greater need than, than really we've ever seen before this year. Uh, what are you seeing around the country in terms of the demand for, for food and donations and, and the need that we're seeing in this pandemic? Right. Well, in your last segment talked about this as well. Uh, you know, there's a, an, an estimated need for over 14 billion meals for 2021. Right now, we understand that one in four families is struggling to get food on their table. And every food charity, there are hundreds of them in, in the Portland area who are working diligently every day to make sure that neighbors around them are being fed. And the Super Bowl of Caring has been you know, working with local food charities, you know, thousands of them, over the last 30 years, we've raised over $130 million, and 100% of that stays local. We've created a map, and that map is what uh, we're using, along with your other Next Star stations across the country, to be able to share with your viewers, hey, there is a food charity in your community, and they need your help. And they need your help more than ever right now, with 14 billion meals needed for the coming uh, year. It's it's a huge need, and I don't think any of us have ever seen anything like it. Um, Feeding America comprises about 50% of the food charities that are out there. The rest of them completely rely on your donations. So that's why we created this map um, to create a collective impact on hunger in uh, in your community and then in all 50 states. Yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned this this interactive online map. So in a, just a minute here, we're going to show a QR code on the screen. I tried this during the show earlier this morning. We had it popped up before a commercial break, and I took out my phone camera. You scan that QR code, and it pops up a little link. If you click on it, it takes you right to this map. And you can, based on your location, drill right down into even your neighborhood here in and around the Portland area and find a charity and, and make an impact really to help those neighbors. So that's the QR code. We've got it up on the screen right now. If you've got your phone nearby, pop open your camera app. All you do is just point the camera at that code. It's, it's so simple. I've gotten better at QR codes <laughs> right? this year. We've had like restaurant menus and all these things going digital, right? So this is a great way for people to make an impact. Allison, what do you want people to keep in mind as we close out 2020? I mean, we have, we have just dealt with so much this year. And I, I think for some people, it's nice to feel like they can at least end the year doing something, you know, to, to have some kind of good impact. Right. Well, and for those of us who are blessed enough to have money and a little bit of extra, um, even a dollar helps. You know, our, our question that we've always asked is what if everybody watching the big game just gave a dollar or one can of food to their local food charity? Well, that would be over 100 million right there. So we can't say that your $5 or your $2 isn't enough. $2 will create six meals. So we can't consider that. We need to think more collectively and say our entire country has to band together. If we're assuming that one in four families is struggling to put food on the table right now, that's not good enough in our country. We need to make sure that everybody's eating. And our map allows you to be able to see where your neighbors are going to get the help that they need. And not just for today, not just for New Year's, but all the time to consider supporting that food charity and helping them out. That's what we ask. 
Hey, Allison, that collective action is something that I think we, we all can be a part of, and it shows that we don't need to do too much to make that big of a difference. But before we go, um, how can people donate? Right. Well, as you said, you can uh, text 26989 NYE donate. You can go to map.tacklehunger.org and or you can uh, you can scan that QR code that's going to be on your web link. Anything helps. And for you to understand where your local food charities are and what they're doing every day, they are doing a huge amount of work and they have been for months now. And the need is not going to get better for quite a while. And we know that. So we just need everybody's help to, uh, to yeah. support that. So we appreciate uh, KOIN uh, for you guys uh, helping with this this year. Sure, we know that need is getting greater, but again, every little bit helps. Allison, thank you for joining us and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you all too. We'll see you on New Year's Eve. There you go. And of course, again, if you want to donate, we're going to put that QR code back up on the screen. So pop open the smartphone, scan that. It'll take you directly to that interactive Tackle Hunger map. You can make a difference in a local food bank here. You can also text to donate or go to coin.com slash giving and tune in to our New Year's Eve show live from Las Vegas starting at 9 p.m. on Portland CW and see how all those donations are making a difference.